Hey friends, it's Jacqueline here. In today's video, I'm bringing my review demo swatches comparisons of the brand new Sisley Fito blushes. But before we get started, and if you're new here, I hope that you will give me that opportunity and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. And come and follow me on my Instagram. And now, if you want to know all the details about these new blushes from Sisley, their formulation, how it looks on light to medium, mature, over 40 skin, then just keep on watching. So Sisley just launched their new Lefito blushes in six different shades. Five of them are actually blush blush and one of them is more of like a highlighter which is called shimmer. I ended up picking up three of them. The ones that I got are Coral 3, Rosy Fuchsia 2, and then Shimmer for the highlighter. So I'm going to be trying it with you today, one on each cheek. And if you're new here, I want to welcome you to my channel and welcome to all of you. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to be here with me. I do want to let you know that I have a light to medium skin tone. I'm on my fourth floor already, so what I'm looking for for blushes and anything that has to do with complexion is that one doesn't emphasize my large pores. I do have large pores on this area. I also have texture on this area right here that goes for the highlighter and also fine lines. So I always have had the best experience with Sisley. In fact, one of my favorite, favorite foundations has to be the Fito Tan Ultra Clad from Sisley. I mean, this is a gorgeous gorgeous foundation and yes so so gorgeous that I actually have two of them so I have high expectations for these blushes and when I saw them first I'm like mm, you know the shades they look so gorgeous so beautiful it was so hard to pick from the six different shades there's one more that I think I want to pick up but uh, not sure yet okay friends so let me just show you how it comes and the unicard very typical from Sisley by the way I will be leaving all the details on the description box below where to find them the blushes are made in Italy and they have a weight of 6.5 grams which is not too little but usually I mean like we sometimes we see brands going between the six grams and some of them with the eight grams like for example the tone for ones they do come with eight grams of products this one right here okay my friends now let me show you how it looks inside they come in the little velvet pouch with a little emblem of Sisley. and then I love these pouches because they actually put an um, elastic band right here so that you can actually enclose it like an envelope and then when you take it out the zebra print. I love this print right here. I think this is so much fun. Everything that has to do with animal print, I mean, I think it's just so much fun. It looks beautiful. Okay, so which one I got right here? Ooh, okay, so the one that I have here is two rosy fuchsia. This is such a beautiful fuchsia shade. I think it's just lovely. Kind of reminds me a little bit of NARS not exhibit a there's another one i'll put it up here it kind of reminds me too there's actually two very close to this one i do not own it but every time that i had passed through the nars gondola in sephora i always look at them and i'm like oh they look so pretty so beautiful okay the compact comes with a nice size mirror too let's just go ahead and give it a swatch okay these are super soft okay i'm gonna swatch it right here there you go I mean, it does have pigmentation. I noticed that the first ingredient of these blushes is mica, so I'm supposed to think that it will give a little bit of radiance and also kind of like a soft focus effect, but let's just read really quick what it says right here from Sisley. It says, an ultra soft and ultra fine blush enriched with botanical oils to enhance and embellish cheeks with a veil of color and light. Okay, so they say that they have some botanical oils and look into the ingredient list right here. It's not that much. It has camellia seed oil. That's one of them. And then it has another cotton seed oil too. Okay, so those are the ones. And it says that it has a fragrance. Let's see. Very lightly. I mean, kind of like imperceptible. Okay, let's go with my Sonia G Soft Cheek Brush. And I'm gonna apply this on my right hand side. Ooh. Just building it up a little bit more right there so you can actually see it. I think this shade will look amazing on someone with like deep complexion. 
You know, funny enough, I pulled out the one from Tom Ford in 04 Wicked, thinking that it may look like this one, but this one is not as intense. I'm just gonna swatch it just to do so, but yeah, this is not as intense. I mean, pink, but this is more vibrant than one from Sisley. And then I have right here also the duo from Wayne Ghost in Vivid Azalea. And let's see right here. This is more a light to red, definitely. Yeah, that very close intensity. Let me just build it up more. I think the one from Sisley has more pink in it, while the one from Wayne Gauls has a little bit more of like a base of purple. No, a base of magenta. There you go, a base of magenta, while the one from Sisley is more fuchsia pink. And here they are side by side. You can tell right there the magenta that pops from the Wayne Gauls blush. Now let's go for three coral. This shade right here has a little bit more of coral, but not the pinky coral, kind of like a little bit of a terracotta base. Now let's apply it with my Sonia G Classic Cheek. She's so gorgeous. Oh, so pretty. Oh, this shade right here. Mm. Mm. This is my double shade. It's building it up a little more so you can really see on the screen. I mean, this one right here is definitely my type of shade. And then seeing this one in action, it kind of reminds me just a little bit to the new Chanel Fleur de Printemps. Oh, yes. I mean, I think Chanel is not as punchy, but let's just try it and put it side by side. Let's just put Chanel up here. And then on corals, I have more corals here. So I was thinking about this beauty right here from Chantecai. Okay, this seems to be just a little bit more orangey. Yep. Yeah, the one from Sisley leans more coral, so it does have that little pink undertone. Talking of that, I have here the Natasha Denona Bloom Highlighting Blush. Now this has a little bit, not shimmer, but just a sheen to it. That is more of like a highlighter type. Yeah, no. Let's try Wayne Gauss Blush. A little bit deeper and then the last one that I wanted to try right here is the one from NARS Orgasm X now let's go for the highlighter number six shimmer very pretty I think this is more of like a champagne -y. okay hmm it's not as potent as I was thinking it will be. It doesn't have a lot of like kapow right there. Let's just give it a swatch here. Yeah, it has a little bit of a warmer undertone, not really true champagne, but kind of it has a little bit of, I don't know, kind of like some like peachy undertone slightly. Let's apply it with Sonia G Mini Cheek. This will give you a very subtle kind of glow from within kind of like highlighter. It's very understated. Yes, it is a lot more understated. Actually, when I was looking at it, it kind of remind me a little bit to the Pat McGrath highlighter, the one that came out for the holiday season. But I know the one from 
Padma Graph is gonna be more of a, you know, highlighter, blinding highlighter. And actually the one from Padma Graph has more of like a pinkier anchor tone. Let's swatch the one from Charlotte Tilbury. Now, if you were to tell me about formulation, the formulation kind of looks alike to the one from Charlotte, but the one from Charlotte has, again, just a little bit more intensity, but the formulas are very, very similar. I mean, if you have touched you know, the one from Charlotte, you will know what I mean. Yeah, more like the one from Charlotte, but the one from Charlotte has more of like a champagne undertone. And I know this is completely different in undertone, but I know this is so new that a lot of people may want to see. This is from Pat McGrath from her Divine Rose collection. This one is more blingy too. Just gonna put it down here. And then the last one that I want to swatch is I Need a Nude from Natasha Denona. I'm also trying to swatch those that have been a little bit more popular lately. This one, yeah, no. I will say in formulation, very close to the Charlotte Tilbury one, where you get that very like beautiful glow from within, not too much. I think you can still build it on just like that. So here all the swatches and comparisons. Alrighty, my friends, I will have to say as far as formulation goes for all the collection, they all have the same formula. They are very forgiving on the pore situation, texture too. They have all a very subtle radiance, at least the ones that I have tried. And as you can tell, you can build up the intensity. Truly beautiful. I mean, like I said, Sisley doesn't fail. And these are another beautiful product from Sisley. I think I'm gonna get one more. There's one more that I'm keeping my eye on, but now I would love to know from you, are you planning to get any of these new Sisley Fito lashes, or you perhaps have got one? Which shade have you gotten? And how are you liking it? I would love to know from you. And while you're at it, and if you haven't done so yet, I hope that you will give me that opportunity and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. And come and follow me on my Instagram. If you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Up. Also, share with family and friends. And until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye.